ahead. channel positive so I'm only going to talk about the stalker briefly and I'm going to do that right after I show you this beautiful park he's so excited oh my gosh I'm so sad I can't get in mommy I'm so sad I can't go in you can't go in I don't have a bathing suit it's okay you ready, Mio? This is the craziest playground I have ever seen. It's insane. Boys, be careful on that. This is, this is absolutely beautiful. Yeah, you can go in there. to address the soccer issue as somebody we know and they watch our videos and for those of you that don't know I am completely disabled and my husband and I we decided to move to a warmer climate because it helps my um, disease check this out you guys oh my gosh <laughs> this is absolutely beautiful wow wow show you guys around at the same time and keep this as brief as possible. So we're in KLCC, playground, it's massive. And so like I was saying, I am completely disabled and this person knows that I am okay, completely disabled and insinuated that I'm not because disabled people apparently got that? Yeah. Got it on video. <laughs> apparently disabled people can't exercise. Or, um, you know. Well, I'll just insert some clips of some people that have what I have. And they're bodybuilders and they do all kinds of things but they're still completely disabled. So for me, I just make sure that I use my energy and my time wisely. And a lot of that goes towards my children. And so when I do activities and things like that, I have to make sure that I'm careful how I expend my energy because our Bali video, if you watched our Bali video, um, yes, I, my dream was always to try a surfboard. And so I did that. Um, but what people don't know, what people don't see behind the scenes is able to walk or get up. So you never know what people are going through when you make comments and you make accusations. You just don't know. Um, I try really hard to care for myself and um, make sure that I get my body moving just a little bit because my diagnosis is multiple sclerosis and psoriatic arthritis. And some days I am completely disabled so a lot of times when we don't upload videos it's because I'm home and I'm in bed or we did take a we did take a long hiatus from the channel because of 
these accusations that were being made so I had to go about contacting authorities and just doing all these things but yeah that's where we were that's what's going on we have a stalker and it's really difficult to stop that per stop that person from following our social media I've done everything to do that but now I have authorities involved in America and that's that <laughs> so that's where we've been and now we're back and we're gonna put up some content freely put up some content but this channel is strictly about my children I created this channel solely for my family in America but now we have a lot of subscribers that enjoy our travels and um, just so you know you will, if you're watching us thinking we'll go to Europe or something we may but it will never be in the cold a lot of that has to do with my disease I desire to be in a warm climate um, and so yeah that's that I've been ranting on about this situation for three minutes <laughs> and now it's time to have some fun we're back and we hope you enjoy the content that's coming hi mom Let's adjust our stalkers real quick because we have those and that's why we've been gone from the two. So um, we've never addressed my disability on this channel and I think we should do that because of the comments that we've been getting that apparently if you have, um, if you're multiple sclerosis symptomatic and psoriatic arthritis and all the other stuff I have, you can't have a life. So um, I just thought you should we should address that and maybe give a little insight on what a day in the life is like for me for people that think that I'm not telling the truth first of all you can't fake this because you have to go for brain scans and blood tests and it's not word of mouth so there's an extensive process to to have somebody disability when you get disability by the government it's only based off of medical records only. You can't, you can probably fake like mental illness, you can fake that, but uh, MS and rheumatoid arthritis, it has to present, it's called presenting. So presenting would be like, um, you know, your, your skin being itchy and scaly, presenting would be your, 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 your joints being inflamed, your feet being cracked and bleeding. Um, presenting itself in the brains, in your MRIs, that's called presenting. That's stuff that you cannot, you can't fake. So when you go for a disability case, you're basically telling a story through your medical records. So in order to get approved, your medical records have to show that you fall into a certain category. Can it's you, a very expensive can you, process. It's, it takes a very long time. You get denied. Yes. <laughs> very reminiscent of our other video on yes. <laughs> So. The disability process is very extensive and again you have to tell everything through medical records so it takes a long time you have to have a very lengthy medical history and not only do you have to have the medical history to match you have to have the doctors the correct doctors for your disease or whatever your ailment is saying that as well and also saying that you can't work you can't you're not able to work you can't sit stand do whatever it is for however long at so a time how long so it's am I not able to stand and sit you can't do you can't do anything for longer than an hour you can't sit for longer than an hour you can't stand longer for an hour you can't lay down longer for an hour you can't pretty much an hour is your limit no matter no matter what that's that's the limit it's only one hour so yes she's not missing a limb she's not missing her arm she's not in a wheelchair that doesn't mean that she doesn't have a disease that doesn't mean that she's not disabled just because you can't see it doesn't mean it exists and that's probably one of the most annoying things about my about situation. about all of this is that you know you look at my wife she looks like she's fine but she's not fine and we present to you happy things in our life because that's what we want to show we want to show happy things but you know I don't want to show the parts where she's laying down sick or she can't move or can't walk or I have to take care of the kids all day or why do I, I don't, I don't feel I have to share that, that's, that's our personal 
issue that's our personal business with with our lives that's not we we choose to share our lives with our family and our friends to all the fun things that we do people know she's sick in our family we don't have to make videos about that we don't have, we don't have to explain it to anybody we shouldn't have to explain it to anybody and the only reason why we're addressing it here is because of the personal attack that i received a few months back and that's why i stopped uploading videos but that's been handled and hopefully we can move forward and not have any more issues oh when we came back from bali we we're in bali for a week and yes she did try surfing and it was for about 20 minutes because she couldn't go longer than that she didn't have the energy to, or the strength to do it but when we came back she basically was sick for like two months so for like two months she couldn't really do much of anything and two months laying down on the couch all day every day depressed she got very depressed so that's the things that people don't see when we do this, the things that happen when we don't film. And sometimes I just choose not to film, and I don't want to film, and I just want to enjoy myself. And the same thing with my wife. We just don't, sometimes we don't want to share what we do. I don't feel like I want to share. Just because we have, just because we have YouTube doesn't mean that we're going to share every detail of our lives. Correct. For me, I just want to share the happiness of my husband and my children and our travels. And now, let's have fun. Dude. Say deuce. <laughs>